Hi, Mike Safe here with World Class Coaching, and today I'm going to share with you a small sided game. Um, well, actually, it's not so much a small sided game um, because I used to use it a lot from penalty area to penalty area, uh, 8v8, that kind of numbers. Uh, but you can do it with 3v, uh, 3v3, even 4v4, 5v5, and, and you can create the area of the size of the field depending on you know the age of the kids and uh, the numbers. So I've got it set up here, but the main thing is is that you create a channel down each side of the field like I've done here with the dotted lines. Um, and then you create the numbers on the field depending on uh, how many players you've got or how many you want to use. So let's start building this. Let's put a goal here. Let's make that smaller. And then put a goal there. Let's put a goal front up here. We'll make that smaller. Okay, so let's put some players down. We could play with, uh, let's do um, 7v7 inside the field, I think. So let me get to the players. And what I would do is I'd put this player on here. Let me make him smaller. And then one trick here with the session designer is if you hold control and drag, it drags another player, creates another player. And this player here, I want him facing inside, so I'm just going to click here to flip him. And then I'm going to drag this guy here for a midfielder, drag this guy here for a midfielder, this guy here for a forward, and this guy here for a forward. Okay, so now that's the team, black team obviously going that way. Let's pick a team that's defending this bottom goal here. Uh, let's do this guy here. So we'll have this guy here. I'm going to make him smaller. I'm going to make him yellow. And we'll drag him, have another defender here. Another defender here, and we'll flip that guy around so he's facing the inside. Another midfielder here, midfielder here, forward, and a forward. So we've got a situation there of uh, blacks, the yellows, and now one thing that I always used to do, and it used to make the game so much better was I used to have play a neutral uh, midfielder. So let's just find a neutral midfielder here. Uh, this guy seems to be as good as any. So I'm going to make him smaller. I'm going to make him red. And the reason I used to have a midfielder was it just made the game the, the, you obviously want lots of crosses, which is the idea of the game, or lots of wide play. Uh, and in order to get the wide play, it helps if the team in possession is able to get the ball to the wide person, um, you know, uh, as often as they can. So having that neutral midfielder gave your numbers up uh, when you had possession and helped with that. So anyway, uh, let's put a goalkeeper in each goal. And we'll make him white. So there's a goalkeeper. And then we'll put a uh, okay. Oh, just put this one here. I really should actually that's it. the wrong guy. I should have this guy here. So there's a goalkeeper there. We're gonna make him smaller, make him white, put him in the goal. And there, as you can see, is this side of the goal, and we want him in front of the goal. So uh, you can organize here by move to the front. Oh, maybe move to the back. There you go. So he's now there, and the goal is behind him. Now, so you in this instance, we've got 7v7 uh, seven seven plus one neutral player. Now what you'd do is you would have wide players on the flanks. So... We'll drag and copy this guy, and we'll drag and copy this guy, and we'll flip him so that he's facing inside. 
So these guys I would have as neutral as well. And you could actually have two neutral. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go into that later. Let's just get this game uh, set up here. So uh, let's say, let me just flip that guy around. So he's looking at him. Let's put a ball on there. Okay, so let's just put a ball in here and see how we go from here. So let's make that ball smaller. Make it smaller still. Okay, so let's imagine this defender's passed the ball to this defender who's passed the ball to this defender. Now, I would make rules such as you have to make at least three passes or four passes before you can pass the ball wide. Or the neutral midfielder would have to touch the ball before the ball was played wide. Or a, one of my two midfielders would have to touch the ball before the ball was played wide. But those were just conditions of, depending on what I was trying to get out of the game. But let's say in this instance the ball has been passed around. We've had three passes. So now let's do get a passing line on there. Let's just... Excuse me. I'm going to move that to here. Move that to there. Okay, so in this example here, this guy is going to pass the ball wide here. The wide player is going to run uninterrupted down here and put a cross into here for the two forwards and maybe the midfielders that are pushing up as well. So it's a simple little game and, and it just creates lots of crosses. And so what's going to happen is this guy's going to run down here. He's going to put a cross in. Maybe the goalkeeper will get the ball. He plays it out to his yellow defenders. They make two or three passes. And then maybe they'll pass the ball out wide to this guy here. And he has to run up there at full speed or touch the ball twice and put a cross in. And then these guys, are defenders are heading the ball. Or these guys are heading the ball or how, whatever you want them to do. Um, and so that is the basic, simple game. Um, works great if you want to work on crosses, defending crosses or attacking crosses. Now, as I said, I would do different uh, conditions. And so one of the things that I used to do was I'd maybe have uh, two players here. Let's just do this. So I'd have two players here. And one when one winger got the ball, the other winger would run up this guy, let's just say this guy got the ball, he would run up the field and put a cross in before this guy could engage him. Um, or this guy would have to act as like a passive defender and this guy would have to run uh, and fake and knock the ball past him and sprint and cross the ball. So there's lots of different variations that you can think up uh, for this. You know, you could have balls played into forwards' feet and then passed out wide. It's all different kinds of combinations depending on what you want to get out of your team. But it's a great drill, a great game for defensive, you know, defending crosses, attacking crosses, or even playing the balls into, uh, you know, near post to people's feet and, and so on. So anyway, one of my favorite games. I loved it. My players always loved it. Uh, just a couple of tips. I would, we used to have subs, you know, maybe one or two subs behind each goal with a bunch of balls and so as the balls got crossed and, and went behind the goals they would fetch the balls and make sure there was a supply of balls behind each goal and then the subs would rotate the subs every uh, you know every two minutes or every three minutes that kind of stuff so uh, give it a try I'm sure you'll enjoy it